What's up, my final love? This is Miss Fina D coming to you all from Vienna Entertainment News. If you go through the Real Housewives of Atlanta playlist, you will see that, yes, I post Brooklyn a lot, Kenya Moore daughter, but you will also see that I post about Blaze, I post about Pilar, I post about Eva's kid, you know, kids, and the list goes on and on. So every now and again, I like to mix it up and do that, okay? So even though Eva is no longer on the show, I still post her kids because, you know, we love the kids over here, okay? So Eva's been on vacation and just living her amazing life. I mean, these images are just everything. I'm like, yes, come through, Eva. I am loving this one right here, okay? So, you know, she's been working very hard, and this is amazing that she's having fun on vacation and all of that. But when I went to her page today, I noticed something. She posted this image in this beautiful black dress. It's looking beautiful, right? So she posted more than one. So as I'm swiping through the slides and I'm seeing, you know, these beautiful people with her and I'm swiping, and I'm like, ah, go back, go back. Is that the guy that was on Love Connection with Portia? Okay, as you can see, Eva knows what she's doing because Eva intentionally did not tag him. I'm pressing on the picture and nothing is coming up, okay? Let me show you an example. You see people's name comes up? All of the people that she tagged? All right. But when I go to his picture and do that, nothing comes up. He's on vacation with Eva and her people, and this is his gorgeous wife. He just announced that he got married. So congratulations, Lewis. You wrote, now introducing Mr. and Mrs. Oh, he got married the same day Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill got married, 10, 10, 2020. You know, go ahead and read the rest of the hashtag. <laughs> First of all, she's a beautiful bride with beautiful people. Did y'all see this butt? I saw that butt. Did you see that? Yes, though. Did you see this butt with the spots? I saw it. I, uh, ow, ow, I ow. haven't had not man sugar, yeah. carbs, or dairy in about two months. Two months. For this. For this. Do you look amazing? Ow. Look at that butt. I'm a whole wife. A whole wife. A whole wife. Somebody about to call you mama. Hey, hey, hey. hey. I'm hey. mama. And then he posted when he met her on August 30th, 2018. I went on a date with the most beautiful woman I have ever met. During this date, I didn't even think that woman like her existed. Beautiful, kind hearted, smart, God fearing and great energy. Before this date, I already had in my mind that I was going to be a single bachelor. Oh, not man in that word. Never get married, having kids out of wedlock, and paying child support to five, <laughs> five to eight kids that look like me, which isn't a bad thing. After this date, I knew I wanted something special with this amazing person. I simply couldn't see my life without her. Mm. Two years later, we're getting married, and she is the same person that I met. She's never changed. This post means so much to me because this is the last dating slash fiance anniversary before our wedding anniversary. Happy two years, baby. Love you so much. Two down, forever to go. Insert anniversary by two. Aw, that was just so sweet. Loving it. And she also posted these um, beautiful image of them on her page. As you can see, I'm intentionally not putting their names you know, in the Instagram page on here. If you go digging and find them, like I found them, kudos to you, but I'm not going to put them out there like that. And I think that's the reason why Eva intentionally did not tag him in the post. Most of you remember that when Eva left the Real House of Atlanta, the last time we saw her with the ladies during a reunion, Portia went in on Eva. It was bad, okay? 
it was so bad that she even threatened that she was going to beat Eva up and all of these different things. All because Eva said that Pular looks like, you know, Dennis with a bow, your ex fiance, like your daughter looks like him, right? We already know the story. We know the whole history. If you missed it, go to the Real Housewives of Atlanta playlist to watch playlist to watch those videos. I don't want to keep dragging old stuff in here, okay? So, and Eva on the other hand was like, okay, I said some things, you didn't like it, I apologize, I'm willing to talk to you, whether it's on camera, off camera, our friendship to me was real, you know, and if, and if our friendship to you was real, then this little setback wouldn't be something to end us for good. But, however, since you don't want to talk to me, it looks like you're looking for a storyline, you know, because honestly, didn't I say that? Had Portia not intentionally stayed mad at Eva so she could have someone to go after, what else is going to make her pop on the reunion? Because y'all know Kenya was clocking the girls in pretty and calm. She didn't even have to break a sweat. Nene tried it, crush her. Portia tried it, crush her. Tanya, a joke. Like Kenya, <laughs> like Kenya didn't even have to, have to do all the stuff that Portia was doing and she still came out of that reunion being her classy self and all of that and the fact that she was reading the girls and not even breaking a sweat that was the great part about kenya on that reunion i just know that portia intentionally kept that going just to have someone to come after at the reunion and it worked perfectly okay but this whole situation right here where eva is on vacation with Portia X and his wife have me thinking, was there something deeper behind the scenes going on that we didn't know about and Portia just used this situation with Pilar and what Eva said on the show to have an excuse to go in on Eva, but was there something else going on like, but well, you don't go on vacation with just random people, you go on vacation with real friends and people that you really rock with and things like that. So for, of all of the guys and people for Eva to post for this to be him and his wife, it looks like something deeper behind the scenes was going on. Cause you guys know, Shamia posted in May, Portia with this guy, Lewis, all of them at her house, single de Mayo, having an amazing time in May. But by June, July, she was going on vacation with Dennis and then revealing that she was pregnant you know what was a few weeks later or a month or so later i mean everything happened so fast it's like may you're at shamia's house hooked up with the guy from love connection and less than three months later you're with dennis pular is coming engagement ring like it was quick so if you were to watch portia love connection episode with lewis what you will notice is that basically the way it works is if you pick somebody right and the audience also picked the person that you picked that's a love connection and then you also win ten thousand dollars okay whether the money is going to you or the charity you win ten thousand dollars so if you watch Porsche episode when she won the ten thousand dollars her reaction and her body language wasn't oh my gosh i'm just happy i made a connection with lewis and all of that she reacted to the money more than she reacted to having him and then a few seconds into her reacting about the money and you know touching andy and all of that and i guess she realized oh don't forget the man you also got the man and then she said wow i got some i made some coins and i got a man i'm not saying this is why they broke up but Portia is about her money and probably you know after dating Lewis he might have been an amazing man to her but his pockets didn't match what she was looking for and then his pockets did so she was in and out now he's married I don't really think Portia cares but who knows you never know what's happening behind the scenes but either way I wish everyone the best and I'm wishing all of you the best take care the end of here my friend I love thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel 
go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless you